Birdhouse Birthday Card Illustration Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Paper. Hi everybody! In today's video I'm going to be showing you a birthday card that I did for my grandmother this year. So it's a really fun little illustration of a birdhouse with some flowers and a little yellow birdie and hand lettering that says happy birthday above it. I hope you guys like this as much as she did and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So I began with just a little square of illustration paper that I had cut out for the right side for my card and I sketched out my design on it. And then I'm going to take my illustration markers and I have a bunch of shades of yellow set out next to me. And I began with the lightest color and I just filled in the bird. And then with a bit more of a golden color, I blended that in and I added some shadows and I blended that in back with my lighter color. Had some more shadows with more of a orange, a darker color yet, some more of a golden orange blend that once again with the next lightest color. So you kind of go back and forth between the markers, adding a darker tone, blending it out, going, you know, darker blend, darker blend. And then add the beak with the darkest color that you use, that golden orange color. Now I'm going to start building up the color on my flowers and I'm going to begin with my latest shade of pink and just kind of fill them in and then add another color of pink. I kind of went straight from the light shade to a really vibrant darker color and then blended it out continue going back and forth. So I've got a couple of little buds, a slightly open flower, and then two bigger blossoms that I have. So there's the next color in the bigger ones. So this whole design, if you wanted it to be a smoother blend on everything, if you wanted it to have more of that continuous color from one to the next, after you have it done this far, I would go through with some color pencils, some really nice great color pencil, and I would add some blending and some shading with those. That's going to give you a much smoother appearance. I wanted it to have kind of a watercolor, color blocking more of a style. So then after I have that done, I took a dark green and I added all of the stems for my leaves and my flowers. And then with a bright green, I added the little leaves on the stems. So I kind of went back and forth between which side of the stem I was working on. There's different styles with the leaves. You can either do them where they're on the same portion of the stem. They kind of just like little pairs going up or it can go every other. Then add a shadow on each leaf with a second layer of your that bright green color and then add just a little flick of the dark green color inside each one to add the center vein on them. Really simple. And then I'm going to start filling in my birdhouse and I did it all with shades of blue because my grandmother absolutely loves blue. It was funny when she moved when she moved into town well, about six years ago she her whole house you know, she lived out in the country was all done in blues like her her kitchen had blue and her dining room and living room so on and so forth and she moved in town she's like I don't want any blue in my house I've had blue everywhere I don't want any blue and it wasn't very long she's like you know what I miss the blue <laughs> so she's always been a fan of blue so anyways I did the birdhouse in blues and I started out with a little floor of my birdhouse I did with a darker shade and then I filled in the main part of the birdhouse with a more pastel shade using some, I think it was 30% gray. If you guys look at illustration markers, the gray has a percentage on it to tell you how dark it is. So it wasn't a super dark one, like I think 30% either. I have one that's 10 and I have one that's 30 and I think I used both, but for the most part, I think the 30 was where, where I was using it. So just use not a super dark gray because you don't want it to look dingy or too dark. You still want the design to be bright and sunny, but adding shadows adds so much. So don't skip them for that reason. So just go back and forth on your paneling. Don't do ones right next to each other. That way the colors won't tend to blend together and it'll give them a bit more definition just from each one. So it looks like it's boards that are assembled and not just one flat piece in the front. I'm going to work on the last one, just filling it in. And I gave my little birdhouse a heart-shaped entrance just to make it a little bit more, a little more cutesy. But it can be however you like. And you do have to work around the petals. It's kind of like watercolor. You can't um, add layers of color on top of each other. It'll just muddy it. So you do have to work around the flowers, which is a little bit inconvenient, but it definitely does work. And add a second layer of shadowing kind of just around any of the areas that may need it. And this, the, uh, the ink that's in these markers dries super fast. So if you are worried about it bleeding, you can just wait like five minutes and then you can move on to the next area. Now I'm going to work on the roof of my little birdhouse. So starting out the first section, I'm going to be just using the same colors I used on the floor 
of my birdhouse. I start with the really light gray or the light blue that I've been using for basically everything then adding streaks of the darker shade of blue through it so that some of that lighter color peaks in here and there but for the most part it's just the darker color of blue or the brighter color of blue. And then for the shingles that are on the top I used just gray. So I started with a 70% and then I just did that coloring and then I went through and with black I added some of my little details. You can also add slight shadows by doing a second coat of whatever color that you were using. And then I'm going to use that 70% gray and I'm going to add some outlines here and there around my birdhouse, sharpen things up, and I'm going to fill in the heart-shaped entrance with that color. So instead of doing the heart-shaped entrance with black, I didn't want it to be that, like I said, I wanted to keep things kind of light and bright. And if you would have done it with black instead, it would have kind of left a black hole in the center. Whereas if you do it with a gray instead, it keeps everything looking a bit more sunny. But with black, I am going to be doing some outlines. Not entirely, I'm not outlining everything. Basically, I'm outlining anywhere where there might be a shadow. Just to kind of add slight definition here and there without going overboard with it. Just add it where you think it's necessary. Add the eye to your bird as well. Just little bits here and there. I had some black dots inside my flowers. But then using that same black little illustration marker, I'm going to be writing out happy birthday with it. If you've got a calligraphy pen that you are comfortable using, that would probably you know, work better if that's something that you typically use. I love to do hand lettering. I don't like to use calligraphy pens all of that much. I remember using them in school and they were, they were okay. <laughs> I'll put it that way. But if you guys like this little birdhouse drawing, I really hope you guys, if you tried out your recreations with me, I'd love to see them and I will see you in my next video. Bye.